Hey, what's going on guys? Gumby here. Uh, bringing you a little bit of a different video on my channel today. I'm going to be showing Fallout 4 gameplay in the background, but instead of talking about the game, I'm actually just going to be talking about what it's running on. Uh, so, my on-the-go gaming laptop that I use for personal and also for this channel is the Razer Blade 14, and it's the 2014 edition, so last year's model. Uh, the Razer Blade 14, it's a portable gaming laptop. I use it for all my video and photo editing for my channel and for my website. Uh, but I also use it just for fun, on-the-go gaming. I don't have to lug my desktop around. I don't have to lug my Xbox around. It's just really nice. It's portable, uh, and, and it can do a lot. So I'm just going to talk about it briefly, and then uh, talk about the tests I'm going to run, and then we'll just get into it. So, like I said, it's Razer Blade 14 is a super portable gaming laptop. Uh, if you've you know ever heard of Alienware or you know MSI, this is in the league of the same type of uh, hardware that you're going to get out of a gaming laptop, except it's ultra thin. It's like a MacBook Pro. Uh, that's actually what a lot of people compare it to. So the um, Razer Blade 14, it comes in and weighs up just under 5 pounds. It's 0 0.7 inches thick. It's got a 14-inch screen with resolution of 3200 by 1800. So it's a really good resolution. It's a nice size screen. It's not too big, so you don't have to really lug it around. And it doesn't feel like a hassle, but it's not too small to where, you know, you can't really, you don't have a lot of real estate to do a whole lot out of it. So it's not only just portable, it's also pretty, pretty nice beast. Uh, like I said, it's last year's model, so but it still packs a punch. And I'll just go over briefly the innards. Uh, my model in particular has an Intel Core i7 4th generation CPU clocked at 2.2 gigahertz. Mouthful, right? Uh, it's got 8 gigs of RAM. It's a 256 gigabyte solid state drive, so you're going to have really fast reads, really fast writes. It's, gonna, it's solid state. If you're not running one for your gaming computer, I really suggest just dropping the $100, $200 and upgrade. Samsung, is, in my opinion, is probably the best uh, one that makes a really nice SSD. Uh, and then other than those, it also has the NVIDIA 870M GPU chipset. I think this year's current model has the NVIDIA 950M chipset. So like I said, last year's model, you're using a little bit of older hardware, but you're still getting a lot out of it. Uh, this laptop by no means can compete with a powerful desktop computer, uh, but for its portab portability, you're getting a lot of power out of it, and it's worth having the ability to move around, take it somewhere else, and you're still going to be able to get a lot of juice from playing most games. Um, the test that I wanted to run today, I didn't see a lot of YouTube videos about it, is Fallout 4. Because I was interested to see if my own laptop could run Fallout 4. So I did my own tests. I ran through eight individual tests. I did uh, each I tested low, medium, high, and ultra settings. So if you go start the game and go to options on PC, you can see that they have presets. I didn't change anything uh, specific inside of the settings. I just picked low, medium, high, and ultra. And I did each of those at 720p and 1080p resolutions. So I wasn't running fraps at the time dur during these tests. I was actually using NVIDIA's shadow play so I could see the FPS as I was recording. I thought that it would print the FPS in the recording. Going back, I didn't see that. So what I'm going to do, I took notes as I was playing and watching the FPS changes. I'll put them on the screen as I go, and then that way you can see you know, visually what I'm talking about through the audio, and then um, you know, we'll move on from there. So let you know what, let's just get into the test. So starting at the low setting at 720p resolution, um, you're gonna get really high performance. I didn't see it drop below 60 FPS once. You're gonna you're not getting the best picture because it's low quality, you're not gonna get the best motion blur, but uh, textures look fine. You're getting really high performance, 60 frames, not one frame drop. The combat is perfect, smooth. Uh, I didn't see any lag between my firing at the enemies or the enemies actually hitting me when um, I didn't see them or anything like that. Uh, guns fired well. Everything was perfect. Uh, I didn't see any issues with running the system on low. It was what the recommended settings when I first started the game was, so I wasn't very surprised. Um, and then uh, moving on to medium settings. So medium settings, also at 720p, uh, you can see in this there's a lot of action going on so there's flames molotovs are going off we're in the middle of a battle 
But I also, even with medium, I didn't see one frame drop below 60 FPS. Uh, so, like I said, low was what, when I started the game, it recommended me to play it at. But at 720p, medium settings, I didn't have one frame drop. Combat was still really smooth. I had a bunch of NPCs on the screen at one time. You can see I'm in an, uh, the uh, crashed air zone where, you know, the airplane graveyard. So, there's a lot of grenades going off. There's a lot of enemies. I'm firing. We're in combat. But not one FPS drop, so that was really nice to see. Um, moving on to 720p high, uh, I also though this is where the frame drops a little. So I I think the frames were around 55 to 60 FPS. So 60 FPS was the normal. Uh, 55 was when the only time I saw it drop, and that's as low as it got. I'm in the woods right now, so it's not dense urban area, but there are a lot of trees. There's a lot of smaller geometry uh, going on, I, especially when I'm inside. I'm opening up different cases. I'm getting different inventories. I can rest if I wanted to. I have the dog next to me. The performance was still really good. The only difference was, um, in my opinion, the fan rut was running a little bit higher and the computer was getting a little bit hot. So if that is something that does concern you, then that's where um, you would consider this as a factor of running, whether medium or high. But for me, I didn't see much of a performance difference when running high or medium. So you're getting the nicer graphics and you're you know, still having really good performance. Uh, moving on to Ultra, uh, this is so, I think it went from 48 to 57 FPS. So this is it's playable, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It's beautiful. Game is really pretty, but this is where you're actually first seeing a performance hit uh, for Ultra at 720p. So now we're going to transition to the 1080p gameplay. This is running low. This I still got 60 plus frames, um, and with the 14-inch 14, 14 screen, you're, you don't see much of a difference between 720p and 1080p to me, um, but performance you're going to get really good performance. Running medium settings on 1080p resolution, uh, you can see I'm on a bridge, I'm in combat. I'm still getting I think 48 to 60 FPS, so this is where you start to see the real uh, frame drop when running at a higher resolution. Uh, so this is about the same that I was getting for Ultra on 720p if that is a good frame of reference. But like I said, it's playable. You're running 1080p, medium settings, so you're getting generally nice uh, graphics, but your fan is definitely going to be running and your computer is going to be uh, getting hot. So moving on to high. So this is 1080p high settings. Uh, I think the frames that I was getting was about 33 to 45. So that, I think that's the biggest drop was from running medium 1080p to high 1080p. Uh, it's like I said, it's playable. Anything above 30 frames per second, in my opinion, is playable. Uh, I know PC Master Race, if it's not 60, it's dead. But, you know, it'll do. And it's skippy and laggy, so I won't be running it this way. But if you really are, it's 1080p and high settings are important to you, it can be done. It's just going to, your computer's going to get hot and the fan's going to be loud. Uh, and then the final test that I ran is 1080p resolution on Ultra. This the frames were 28 to 40 fps this is the breaking point for this computer i think it can run ultra i don't know if he was running 1080p or 720 but i wouldn't recommend it computer was hot the fan was loud and it was just laggy um so in summary uh, i ran eight tests i have 720p resolution 1080p resolution the low settings on 720p you're getting 60 frames per second constant I didn't see one drop through combat, uh, urban, third-person view, first-person view. It run The game runs perfectly. It's what actually the game recommends based on this computer's hardware. Medium settings, I felt the same experience and for, my, for my tests. I got 60 frames per second the whole time. I didn't see any frame drop. Um, the graphics are obviously a little nicer because you're at a higher setting, and the computer's fan was running fine. It wasn't getting too hot. This is probably, if you're concerned about any temperature or any um, loudness of your computer and you want the best quality with the best performance, the 720p medium settings is probably what you're going to run at, especially if you're going to be playing for a long time on the laptop. 
high settings for 720p. Frame rate uh, was about 55 was the lowest that I hit. This is the first time I had a frame drop for my tests. And then I was still getting 60 fairly consistently, but there was that slight frame drop. So I wanted to include it into my summary. Uh, it's still viable to play. Uh, you are, the computer is going to run a little bit hotter. Uh, the fan is going to be a little bit louder. So if you're playing for a long time, uh, you can do this. It, the computer is fine. But for me, um, I don't think the boost from medium to high settings is really worth uh, maybe the computer getting a little bit hotter and then the possibility of damaging any hardware that's inside. Ultra settings, the, the, for 720p, you're going from 48 frames to 57 frames per second. So it's definitely playable. Um, it's your, that's the uh, drop in frames, so you're getting below 50, but you can, it's playable. It doesn't feel that laggy. You're getting a little bit when you're in the woods or if you're in a dense urban area, you're going to feel a little stutter, but it's not that bad. The, like I said, though, your computer's going to be running hot and your fan's going to be loud. So take that into consideration if you're going to be running ultra settings. Moving on to the 1080p. On low, I got 60 frames per second, just like I was getting on for the 720p. If 1080p resolution is really important to you, I would run it on low settings. Your fan's going to be running, but the computer's not going to get too hot because you're still running low settings even though you scaled the resolution up. So if, if that's what's really important to you, um, that's what I would run. Medium, this is where you're basically getting around the same performance that you're going to get doing ultra at 720p. So you're getting about 48 to 60 frames per second. If uh, you don't mind this frame rate uh, gap, I would actually just use 720p ultra settings because at least you're getting the graphics out of the ultra settings rather than you're playing on medium graphics for 1080p and you're getting the same performance. That's just my suggestion. Moving on from down here, um, I wouldn't set your laptop up past any of these settings. So high 33 to 45 frames per second fairly consistently, um, but your fan is going to be running and your computer is going to get really hot. So I just, I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, 33 frames is low, it's but it's playable. So if, like I said, if that's really important to you and you're okay with dealing with some of the stutter that comes in involved with getting your frame FPS that low, then have at it. You're going to get a nice crisp picture. It's 1080p resolution, but you're going to have some stutter and your computer is going to get hot. The last test that I ran, ultra settings at 1080p, I just wouldn't even do it. Um, it's capable, yes, um, you're, but you're getting sub 30 frames per second at this point, and it's just not really worth it. If uh, you want to play this game on ultra settings on a portable laptop, do it at 720p. Fan's going to be hot running, and the computer's going to get hot, but you're still getting 48, 57 frames. It does get to 60 every once in a while, so you're still getting decent performance. You're getting that's the same ultra graphic settings that uh, are offered for a higher desktop uh, level, but... Um, with 10 with 1080p the frames it's just too it's too big of a hit um, at that point the fans running so hard and your computer's getting hot enough to where it can do it but I would just be concerned of any damages um, so that's my summary uh, these are those are the my eight tests that I ran for for the razor blade 14 running the fallout 4. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have this computer or if you have any hardware similar similar to this. And what what do you play on? What tests have you run? Do you see any performance issues that I didn't cover? Please let me know in the comments. Appreciate the feedback. But as always, hope your day is beer and skittles. Thanks for tuning in, guys.